what's going on guys so i was going through the edit here for bay of la day one and drum roll please my mic that i use on my gopro had a little corrosion and was not working um, i recorded some audio but not any good audio so i figured i'm gonna go ahead and give a little narration slash voiceover to kind of walk you through the video and then I'll put some music in the background but if you don't want to hear my voice go ahead and mute it and just try and watch the video but I think you'll like it we got some good jig in action in this one so we're gonna jump on into day one of the video let's go jumping into the video here's Jordan driving us on down what a trooper um, the drive is so sick. It's so beautiful once you pass San Felipe. This road pretty much runs all the way along the coast and you get a nice scenic view, which makes the time go by really fast. No, there's not any dirt roads down there. We just kind of pulled off and drove down some of the roads to get some cool B-roll for Matt to kind of add some flair to the video. Um, he flew his drone around. Mike went out in search of textures, as he would call it and we got some cool shots along the way. Um, but as far as the first night goes, we pretty much just had our fair share of micheladas, margaritas, and tacos, and rigged up and called it a night. Every morning pretty much started out like this. Um, we would meet Joel down at the ramp, talk some shit, go over the game plan, and uh, let Matt get some cool B-roll. As you can see here, um, I did not bring my camera down. I only brought a photo camera, but I just didn't want to get in the way of Matt and what he was shooting. So I brought the GoPro, tried to get some shots of the things we were doing, but really didn't shoot too much. Um, but every morning was so beautiful, super classy, nice sunrise. We'd start off by making bait, which everyone actually helps in, which is something that you don't see in Southern California where everyone just talks shit. Just kidding. but. Yeah, they all helped making bait and every ride out was nice and smooth out of the bay but uh this first day was pretty hectic it started off real nice uh, we shot down about 20 miles to some island but as you can see in the video here it got quite nautical at the high spot as you would say um <coughs> it didn't really matter the fish were freaking full speed i think this is our very first drop and we had triples um Jordan took a second to film, but as you would say, we almost thought we would have to scratch the filming because it was so windy. I don't even think Matt shot anything this first half of the morning. It was so gnarly. Um, Arthur got seasick, so we had our fair share of the yellows and then we uh, ended up going inside, but I did not film anything. It was super hectic um, at first. Like we were just getting our bearings, trying to balance on the boat. It, it was nuts, but the fish were full speed. Um, so we ended up catching our fair share of yellows and shooting inside here to uh, one of the islands and we fished Cabrilla for like half of the morning. Um, wasn't full speed by any means but we did get our fair share of bites. Nothing huge like you would see that you would go down to Bay of, L Bay of LA for but it was super fun and definitely got our uh, taste buds wet for those Cabrilla. Um, I definitely want to go back down there and try and get some big ones but those things are gnarly for how small they are. They pull so hard. Um, Jordan pretty much showed us up the whole time on that little mad scad that he was throwing. Uh, I broke off a couple on the uh, jerk baits because I was fishing like 40 or 50 pound. Definitely need that heavier line. But yeah, Jordan was showing us up pretty much the whole time. It was sick. He's getting some good ones. I think we only kept one Cabrilla, Mike kept one or two, but other than that we released all the other ones. So we ended up making a move back to the high spot here uh, and the weather calmed down a bit and we wanted to get some yellowtail footage. So I think right here Jordan was already hooked up. I tried the little vertical jigging uh, technique here. It was really hard with that eight foot rod, but I ended up kind of figuring it out. I think I already got tired doing it on this drop and I just ended up burning it up like a yo-yo. And I got my first bite of the drift.
Most of these yellows at this little high spot were all about 10 to 15 pounds. So it was super fun to just hook them and try and wind them in pretty quick. But um, yeah, I think we only kept one for sashimi this day and uh, all the others went back. It was lights out fishing. It was so much fun. I believe on this drift, I was fishing the Shimano Shimmerfall vertical jigs, which are kind of like a knife jig. I think it was 170 gram or maybe 220. I think we were using all the heavier jigs the first day because we had them, but uh, as the trip went on, we started breaking them all off and uh, we had to use the smaller, lighter jigs, but they worked just fine, so. As you can see, Matt had the whole kit, the stabilizer, everything, getting the shot for us. I think this fish was kicking my ass because uh, I snagged it or he was having a look and got it in the side of his face versus eating it properly. And you can see Jordan is bending in the back corner there. I think me and Jordan pretty much had the same amount of fish. So if he's out of frame, he's definitely hanging a fish. Like it was every single drop pretty much on every drift. It was so freaking good. Joel probably telling me there's a lot of fish down there. Let it sink all the way to the bottom. Yeah, all right, all right, I got you. And again, I just wanted to say, I wanted to keep the GoPro out of Matt's way. Um, I mean, we were down there to film a full episode, so I was trying to keep the GoPro out of the shots as much as possible. So that's why you got a weird camera angle right here, um, just up in the tower. You can barely even see Jordan who's bending already.
A lot of the jigs we were using on these drifts were the Shimano Shimmer Falls, and which are a new jig, and their flat side butterfly jigs. Uh, those were the top producers. Uh, once we lost all of those, we started going to their Wing Falls, which is kind of like a flat fall. Um, pretty much all the jigs worked, but those long skinny ones definitely outproduced the flatter like falling jigs that those fish down there wanted it really fast and uh if you could work it fast you're gonna get bit pretty quick but uh if you tried to do it slow you wouldn't really see too much action Here's Jordan giving me some shit, asking me while I was using the rail to man up, but it was just super fun to hook them. So I tried to just button the drag down and wind them in as fast as I could. So I don't mind using the rail for that. Yeah, this is weird. Um, we used some random fluorocarbon in the box and uh, I think it happened to us twice where Joel went to uh, grab the lure and it just snapped off. So after that, we kind of called it quits and uh, headed for the barn. Day one wrapped, it was super fun. And uh, day two, we decided since the weather was gonna be better, we're gonna go shoot off to the big island for some bigger fish. So stay tuned. Shoots.